down the center line, and you're going to leg yield off your leg, but he is going to get, you're going to allow him to swing more through his wither and his neck so he develops his top line. You step left. That's right. Don't worry. And you're going to step left, and you're not, and you're going to keep your left leg on him, but he's going to follow your left hand to the left a little bit as he moves to the right, to your right rein. That's it. Now, left leg. Left leg. Now, deal with your right. Left leg. Take your left hand left. Now, your right rein. That's it. There you go. Got it? But there you worked it. But that was good for you because you had to separate your aids and understand what you're doing because you're basically holding all your aids at the same time and he doesn't know where to go. Now, do it again. Yeah. Now, left hand left. Now, give on your left hand, right rein. Left leg, left ring, right ring. Give on your left. So he suffers. It's getting better, right? Yeah. You still, he's following your ring, but he's moving to your outside ring. Sure. And then when he's to your outside ring, the outside ring holds him, and that gets him forward and sideways. Step left, now right ring. Give on the right. There, step left, left ring left, right ring. Got it? Now it's getting better, and he's better in the neck. Agree? So you understand? So use it. Use that leg yield over and over and over. That's right. Because the purpose is to teach him to bend, and you create your bend by riding the horse through the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. There, pat mm -hmm. There, there, give. Mm -hmm. But see, now you've got to be happy, because there he followed, and you gave, you ran into your outside hand, then your aids were effective. You got mm -hmm. it? Now, I'm doing that because you're going to think that when you do the canter. <laughs> <laughs> but you with me? Yeah. You've got to be able to do that and believe that your position is going to ride the counter canter, not your hands. Your whole, the purpose of the counter canter is to straighten the horse. Okay. To get his shoulder straight in front of his hind leg. Okay. That is the purpose of, right? So... So when you're going to do your right lead canter to counter canter, so you figure your right lead cantering now, right lead cantering now, you're going to have them that straight in the neck. And you're not going to fall left to hold that, and you're not going to lean right to hold that. You're going to stay up straight, and you're just going to maneuver the straightness of the horse. Right? Yeah. So, so now, so you with me? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do it the hard way first. Okay. <laughs> Right now, change now. <laughs> turn and you're going to turn right. Now, just believe because this is just part of your position. Now, right lead can. Now, put your now turn your back to the right. Now, down the center line. Put your left hand down and lay yield in your mind to the wall. To, to the wall to the right. Okay, come back again. So we're going to go to counter can right. So now you're going to think you're turning, close the left, close the left, stay right. Close the left, close the left, stay right. Now think leg heel to the wall. That's it, now canter. Now, ride the horse and don't hold the head to the right. Ride the horse, ride the horse. Sit to the right, sit to the right, sit to the right, step to the right, step to the right, step right. You're falling left. Turn your back to that, those windows. Turn your back. No, the other way. There. You're still on your right lead canter. Then you're see you're bending his head right, and you've got to get him straight. Now you're okay. Now pull on your left ring, pull on the left ring, pull on the left ring. That's the he's pull. He's still bent right. Pull on your left ring. Get get off your right hand. There you go. Now you're still good. Hang in there. Turn your back to the windows. Pull on your left ring. Let go of your right ring. Hallelujah. Now get your left ring set. There you go. Now he's straighter. You just you just think you have to hold the right rein to keep your right lead canter. Okay. Or have I got you confused? Yeah, a little bit. 